tracing and identifying shapes. How are you friends? I am very well. Do you remember that we learned tracing of objects from our surroundings in the previous video? Today, in this video, we will learn identifying different shapes, tracing the shapes and drawing pictures using shapes. Hello, I am Thumbkin. And I am Pointer. Friends, look, we have a clock with blocks of different shapes, which will help us in identifying shapes. Here, the circle is first in order. The oval is second in order. This shape is like an elongated circle. It is also called ellipse. The triangle is third in order. A triangle has three sides. The square is fourth in order. The length of all its four sides are the same. The five-sided pentagon is fifth in order. The six-sided hexagon is sixth in order. The four-sided quadrilateral is seventh in order. The four-sided rhombus is eighth in order. And the rectangle is ninth in order here. Its opposite sides have the same length. The heart is tenth in order. The star is eleventh in order. And the plus symbol is twelfth in order. Friends, now let's trace some of these shapes and draw a picture. First of all, we will trace the square shaped block and draw one, two, three squares. Let's now trace the ellipse. One and one. Two ellipses. Now we will draw a hexagon shape by tracing the hexagon block under these two ellipses. Yes, now we will trace this triangle block and draw two triangles like this. Now we will take the quadrilateral block and place it like this and then trace it. And we will draw two quadrilaterals. Now look at these blocks. This is a circle, this is a pentagon, and this is a rhombus. Now we will place these blocks in the three tree squares shapes and trace them. Oh wow! This is a picture of rocket. If we want to show this rocket flying in the sky, then which shape would we have to trace from these? Hmm, to show the rocket flying in the sky, we would have to trace the star-shaped block. Yes, so now we will trace the star-shaped blocks and draw one, two, three, four and five stars. Mr. Pointer, if we fill the colors in this drawing, then how would it look? If we fill the shapes we drew, it will look like this. Isn't it looking beautiful, Thumbkin? Oh, wow! Friends, you can also draw some more pictures like this by tracing different shapes. Friends, Today we learn to identify different shapes and draw pictures by tracing them. You can also trace the shapes 
and draw different pictures. In the next video, we will identify some more shapes and count them and we will also color them. Hello friends, you remember that in the previous video we learned to identify the shapes, tracing shapes and drawing a picture by tracing them. Today, in this video, we will learn to count the shapes after identifying, filling colors in them and making a figure. Hello friends, look. This is a picture of a doll made using shapes. But why is this doll sad? Because the doll wants to know which shapes and how many shapes are used in his making. Hmm. The square, the rectangle, triangle and circle are used to make this doll. Let's now tell him the number of these shapes used in his making. We can make him smile. Can you count the number of squares in this doll? There are one, two and three squares used to make this doll. Can you count the number of rectangles in this doll? There are one and two rectangles in the doll. Let's now count the triangle. There are one, two and three triangles in this doll. Let's now count the number of circles used. Yes, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight circles used here. We got to know that there are three squares, two rectangles, three triangles and eight circles used in the making of the stall. But why he is not smiling? Let's fill it with colors. Look Thumpkin, it is smiling after we filled it with colors. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, let's see the second example now. Look, this is a figure made by tracing square, rectangle, circle and triangle shapes. Let's fill this figure with colors. First of all, we will fill all the triangles with yellow color. Look, can you see this? Now, we will fill in all the circle with red color. Look, there are several square shapes in this figure. We will fill in the square shapes with pink color. Thumpkin, is there any shape yet to be filled with colors? The rectangle shape. You are right. Now we will fill the rectangle shapes with sky blue color. Yes, look pointer. We have filled the triangles with yellow, the circles with red color, the squares with pink and the rectangles with sky blue color. Friends, we learn to count the shapes after identifying, filling colors in them and making a figure. In the next video, we will learn how to make figures using shapes in an interesting way. Friends, we have learned to identify and trace shapes. Today, in an interesting way, we will learn to make figures using these shapes. Look friends, this is a 10 gram. There are a total of 7 shapes in it. This 10 gram is made of 1, 2, 3, 4, and five triangle shapes, one square shape and one 
quadrilateral. Today we will create figures of horse, rabbit, cat, swan and fish using these shapes. Look, this is a horse. Now we will make a horse using five triangles, one square and one quadrilateral. See, the horse is ready. This is a rabbit. Now we will try to create a rabbit using four triangles, one square and one more triangle and one quadrilateral. See, rabbit is ready. This is a cat. So let's make a cat using three triangles, one quadrilateral, one square and the remaining two triangles. See, cat is ready. This is a swan. Now we will make a swan using four triangles, one square, one quadrilateral and one triangle. Swan is also ready. This is really interesting. This is a fish. Let's try and create a fish using two triangles. One quadrilateral and one triangle. Two more triangles and one square. And we have created a fish. We have finally created a horse, rabbit, cat, swan and a fish using the seven shapes of the ten gram. Friends, today we learned to make figures using shapes of a ten gram in an interesting way. In the next video, we will know about lines and their different types.